The court bib has proved to be the most fragile part of a lawyer's dressing because of constant washing and subject to lots of bleaching. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to restore your court bib fabric. First, I want you to know that there are two types of bib fabrics. Bibs that have fabrics with strength and bibs that have fabrics without strength. This is an example of a bib that has a low strength fabric. They tend to wither away with time due to constant washing and subject to bleaching. Now this is a bib with strength. No matter how much bleaching or washing it is being subjected to, it just pretty much stays the same and hardly withers with time. Either ways, for whichever bib I want to strengthen, I just use my water and my starch to strengthen the bib. So whatever starch you're using is fine. I'm using a cold water starch and I like to mix my starch very thick at first because uh, I'd like to concentrate on those protruding parts which I'm going to show you later in the video. So when I'm done mixing it, I leave it for 15 minutes and come back and keep mixing it till the feel of the paste is slimy then I know it's thick enough to apply to the cut bib so like I said at first you mix a very thick paste so that we can concentrate on the protruding parts of the bib since the rest of the bib is going to be tucked inside our cut outfits So like I said earlier, I like to concentrate on the protruding part of the wig with the very thick starch. And then if I want to starch the rest of the bib, since it's going to be tucked into the dress, I like to dilute it with water. Be sure not to squeeze out the starch entirely since it defeats the whole purpose of strengthening the bib. So after starching, make sure to look out for clumps because they make the bib tacky and difficult to iron. Hanging the bib is a core part of this process because the way you hang it is the way the bib comes out at the end of the starching. So this is the final look as you can see hanging played a huge role in how it turned out. So that's it for the video. I hope that you gained a lot from the video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel and leave a comment down below to let me know what you like and what you may want to see. Thank you for watching.